afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, got another beautiful fifth wheel we're going to review today. Those of you who uh, don't want to go out and spend 80, 90 grand on a new fifth wheel, I'm going to save you some money. Actually, closer to 90. I'm going to save you some money and, and sell you one that, that the only way you're going to find one any nicer and newer is to buy a brand new one, spend 90 grand. This is a 2019 Keystone Montana High Country 375FL. And guys, this unit is 41 feet, 6 inches long, weighs 12,380 pounds. It is a Four Seasons R, up to R38 insulation. It's got the optional six-point level-up system. It's got the dual whisper quiets, four slide outs, and um, a front lounge, which awesome floor plan guys especially those of you who want something a little different got a big fireplace big tv on a televator um got some really cool stuff on here but like i said this is 41 feet six inches long got the led lights on the front that i've got on right now got the big window in the front with the one-way glass and um got running my generator right now so I do have the lights on, fireplace, things like that. What's cool about this one is that you've got dual entry doors, one on each side. So you've got this one that goes to the hallway in front of the master bedroom that goes right to the bathroom. Then you got one in the other side that goes right to the main living area. This is really cool if you've got kids and they gotta just duck in, use the bathroom, they can just go right in that door, I'll track up the fifth wheel, you're there. And you can see the exterior of this thing's immaculate condition. Does have 50 amp electrical service. I'll try to show you the best I can from back here. It's kind of tight, but you do have a uh, uh, ladder, roof access ladder, and a little bit of storage on the back. Got the awning toppers, got a big power awning on the other side with the LED light strips. Sweet fifth wheel right here, guys. I love shooting these big fifth wheels. They just have so much room in them. I mean, these are just incredible values for the money. I mean, you could spend three times as much on a motor home and get nowhere near the square footage of living space you do in this fifth wheel. And for those of you who uh, need it delivered, we offer nationwide delivery even on this big beast for $1.50 a loaded mile. This unit came out of Georgia, and uh, it's got the, the six point level up, which was uh, leveling jacks, which is an option on the high country. 12 gallon DSI gas electric water heater, big old awning, outside speakers. Wow. Let's take a look inside, and this is just as nice on the inside as the outside if not nicer. In fact, I don't believe this was ever been a live-in unit. And I know that's a common theme with the bigger fifth wheels, but this one right here just doesn't have that live-in wear and tear. All right, as we step inside, no smoke or pet odors. Look at this front lounge. Just look at this first. Got all uh, Thomas Payne furniture. You got dual sleeper sofas that make a separate bed each. Plus, you've got theater seating right here with the power. Uh, they are power recliners. I don't know about you guys, but I can sleep more comfortable in this than I can on that sleeper sofa bed. I mean, I'm going to see how far this goes down. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I did, this would be my choice. If I couldn't sleep in the main bed, I would probably sleep right here instead of the sleeper sofa. Uh, you do have a large fireplace that doubles as an electric heater. I've got it just set for the effect. I love that window in the front of these newer Montanas, guys. Just especially sitting up high like this, you look over the other campers in the campground, or at least most of them, and you can see everything behind it, like nature and all that stuff. So I do like that. LED accent lights everywhere. 
And of course, you're, where's the TV at? Well, this unit has got, as soon as I get my big butt up here, a televator. Push this button. And you've got a televator. 50 inch, 55 inch maybe television. I didn't look the size up. It's a big in either way. Of course, it box your view is the only downside of that. But... There's your TV. Well, the upholstery in here is awesome. You know, by 19, they got uh, they changed the uh, flaking furniture issue and pretty much took care of that by 19, so you don't have to worry about that. Double 15,000 BTU Whisper Quiet Ducted Roof Airs. Going down through here, you got your ceiling fan. Hang on one second. So, all right, sorry about that, guys. I had to help a employee, but... With a question, with an answer, I guess, to a question. Uh, <laughs> middle kitchen, living room area. Again, more LED accent lights. It look a lot better at night as far as the inside and outside uh, lighting. But you do have a table and four chairs. You've got additional storage right here. I guess you could use that to put your appliances on, like your uh, air fryer, coffee maker, and whatever else you want to put there Corian countertops do have three burner cooktop doesn't look like it's been used it is a wrought iron i like that or cast iron cast iron oven microwave over the range big double basin sink lots of cabinetry you do have a skylight there if you want to let in some natural light Got the Max Air Vent in here as well with the thermostat. You've got a residential refrigerator, freezer, and this is factory. And it does have the big uh, magnum inverter so that you can power this refrigerator while you're hauling your uh, camper down the road. What it does, it takes the alternator of your truck and that provides the, through your plug, your light plug, that supplies a 12 volt power to your RV and of course that inverter takes that incoming 12 volt, turns it into 110 AC power to operate your refrigerator. And it doesn't, like the rest of the coach, it doesn't look like it's been used. Now, I haven't had it on very long, but temperature is dropping. It was 75 in the freezer and the refrigerator when I turned it on, it's now down to 62 and 65. So it's obviously working, it's dropped 10 degrees. But uh, this is a big refrigerator and freezer with an ice maker. I like the flooring in here. It's got carpet where it needs it and then your main walkways are vinyl. And we're gonna to walk toward the back. This is where your second entry door comes in at, right here on the right. So from there to right here is your bathroom. And your bathroom area has a RV toilet Big stand-up shower, um, skylight, so you let a lot of light in here, even if you got the lights off, and uh, sink. It's got a fantastic vent fan, strategically placed right over the toilet, so uh, <laughs> you know that might come in handy. And of course, you've got a rear bedroom. And I do like the front lounge rear bedroom floor plan. To me, this makes a lot more sense than a, a rear lounge front bedroom. But you have a nice tall roof in here. Um, it does have the washer and dryer hookups in that closet right there. It is the king bed. The king bed was an option on this on this high country, the 375, and they opted for it. It's got built-in USB chargers to charge up your mobile devices. Uh big shower i mean not a shower big huge closet across the back behind me is a television for the bedroom i do like the solid residential style doors lots of plug-ins everywhere oh yeah guys like i said this is you couldn't ask for a used fifth wheel to be any nicer than this one uh, in any year model and i think this is something that you would and i mean it guys you'd probably have to go out 
and buy a brand or buy a brand new 2022 to get one nicer than this it's comfortable it's cozy uh sleep six I actually can sleep eight if if two people want to sleep on those uh recliners we'll, we'll just say officially sleep six with that option to sleep two more um wow sixty four thousand nine hundred dollars guys and compare that to a brand new one i'm saving you a ton of money and i'm not charging you fees that's the thing especially the new dealers you know i promise you whatever their price is on that new pith wheel is not your out the door price not even close to it and then they're going to keep adding and adding and adding to it first thing they're going to do is add anywhere from several hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars in dock fees and prep fees and processing fees destination fees and get ready fees franchise fees all those fees are 100 percent dealer profit guys the only thing we charge here on towables is the sales price of 64.9 on this particular one which is hackle free firm and we uh, charge applicable sales tax that's it you never pay sales tax more than one time no matter how you pay for it or what state you live in you only pay sales tax one time. A lot of people think, oh, I got to pay Georgia tax and whatever state I'm in tax too. No, you only pay one tax. If you need clarification of that, call one of my salespeople, tell them what state you live in, how you're paying for it. They'll give you an estimate on your sales tax and when and where you have to pay it. Um, but you can call them at 706-965-7929. But anyway, guys, that's it. You know, these other dealers, you might come in on one that say, say this thing's 89.9 new. You come in at 89.9, you leave, you owe 115 on it. How'd that happen? Well, you got to realize the pricing model of the new and the corporate RV dealerships. It's not just about the price. It's about what they can sell you after you buy the fifth wheel. They call them upsells, guys. That's the extended warranties. That's the gap insurance. That is, all the only warranty that's any goods factory warranty. If aftermarket, just don't get them. Save your money. But they and they and the gap insurance and interior and exterior protection packages and tire and wheel packages and road service package and on and on and on. You you just want to buy a fifth wheel. You don't want to sit in the finance office for an hour while they try to tell you sell you individual services and the reason why they make you feel like you have to have those services is simple they're marked up four times dealer cost they're making an extra ten twelve thousand dollars off of you if you if you sign up on enough services so yeah they're going to spend extra time with you and get you to hit that hit, you know hit that check mark and you know when they're making money on you is when they actually try to sell you on payment over the amount financed guys that's a classic trap to get ripped off you know, pay, do your homework before you RV shop. Check with your bank or credit union before you go to a dealer. See what they can offer. See what your bank or credit union can offer. And get familiar. Like, you know, when you're at mine, like something like this, you can get 12 to 15 year financing, you know, 6% interest if you've got excellent credit. Keep that in the back of your mind and, and already have you a halfway payment figured up on the amount financed. And then, then negotiate the amount you finance. Get that amount financed down as low as possible. Don't worry about payment. Payment will follow the amount you finance. That's how they get you. When they take your mind off of how much you're borrowing, you know, they're, they're going to get your mind off the fact you're borrowing $120,000 on a 90 grand fifth wheel because you're only paying X amount per month. That's all you care about. And you, and you get fixated on that. And they do that on purpose. Always look at the amount financed and your interest rate pay as much money down as you can that way you're ahead of the de depreciation curve and uh say no to all upsells guys people get mad dealers get mad when i tell you that but it's the truth that's finance managers don't like it because they get paid half the profit as a commission or not half but but a third some of them may make up to a half i don't know every dealer's different but they get paid a huge chunk of the of the profit on that upsell as a commission. So that it's going to benefit them to get you to pay as much as possible because they can make as much money as possible. Another thing that a lot of people don't know too is 
a dealership's fi finance department doesn't do all of that paperwork and get you approved and all that out of the goodness of their heart. They do that because they're making thousands and thousands of dollars profit on the financing. And you may wonder, how, how can a dealer do that? And it's actually legal. So here's the thing. You're going through their lenders, the banks they do business with. They already have an agreement with those banks that allow them to mark the interest rates up over the what the bank actually approves you for. Uh, and they get to keep about 75% of the profit. And then, of course, finance manager gets a cut of that, too. But here's the thing, guys. You're not dealing with your bank. You're dealing with their bank. Their bank doesn't call you. They call the finance manager. That's who's handling the deal. That's who knows the actual rate. The finance manager can add a percent, two percent, three percent, whatever they think you'll pay on interest on top of what they call the buy rate, which is what you actually got approved for, which you, you'll never find out because the bank won't tell you and the dealer certainly won't tell you. All you know is what's on loan contract sitting in front of you with a pen in your hand ready to sign, but that's actually more than not, more times than not, marked up rate. And this is another thing that separates us from all these other dealerships, guys. We offer financing as a courtesy. We don't make money on it. You know, we've been in business 54 years, and, and uh, you know, we learned decades ago, keep your sales as simple, as easy, and done as possible. No upsells. No interest rate markup. No fees. Just sales tax. That's it. Haggle-free firm. No, you don't have to worry about going back and forth. Get online. Look these things up. Look what they're bringing online. Compare them to this price and this condition. You'll see really quick, this is the best deal out there. If you're looking for a 2019 Montana High Country 375 FL with the optional king bed and the, and the level ups. And even at this low price, guys, we guarantee the slide outs to work. We guarantee the roof, both roof airs to work. We guarantee the refrigerator and freezer to get to operating temp. And, of course, anything else you can check yourself. I seriously doubt you're going to find anything wrong. This thing is in too new of condition to really have any major problems. Now, that's no guarantee, but what you want to do is, guys, if you want to buy this fifth wheel, set it up with your salesperson, get everything worked out before you pay for it in full. You probably want to come down here, do your own inspection on it. Shouldn't take you 30, 40 minutes on one like this because it's so new i seriously doubt there's any issues with it so uh, we'll have it plugged into power you can check everything for yourself see what works see what doesn't see what you're going to get into which i doubt you're going to have to get into anything for a long time but um of course you know the way we sell these things guys to keep our prices as low as we do we sell them as is this hook and book we do guarantee at time of sale the made the most major things to work slide outs all four of them we guarantee refrigerator and freezer and both roof airs to get the operating tip. Everything else, guys, you can check for yourself. It works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's up to you to buy it or not buy it or fix the parts that don't work or, or not fix them. It's entirely up to you. But like I said, I seriously doubt you're going to find much of anything wrong. Even every light I turned on comes on. So uh, anyway, guys, come out and spend some time in it. Get to know it a little bit. You'll be glad you did. I got a large selection to use fifth wheels. They've gotten really popular. Um, usually fifth wheels don't sell this much um, this time of year. Usually fifth wheels sit till late summer, early fall when they take off. But this year's been, been weird. We've sold a bunch of fifth wheels. But I know a lot of people now, because real estate prices are so high, what people are doing is selling their homes getting top dollar for it, buying a fifth wheel, setting it up on a lot or a permanent campsite somewhere and living in it for a couple of years till the market crashes. And they can take that money they got from their house and buy a house for half price what it's bringing right now. I know that's actually pretty smart. Um, it's a lot of work though. And then there's no guarantee that crash will happen. So it's a gamble but that's what a lot of people are doing they're selling their homes buying these things to live in and guys we understand that if you're going to set this thing up permanently on some property or say a, a full-timers campground we can deliver it for $1.50 a loaded mile one way that way you don't have to fool with buying a truck or a fifth wheel hitch 
and you can always especially at a campground guys there's always somebody there that's wanting to earn a little extra money and if they got a big enough truck with the fifth wheel they'll haul your camper for you um there's always somebody there if not the office will know somebody that can do it as well I've been thanked a lot for that little tip because I have people call me all the time and they'll call me from out of state or out of the area. Hey, uh, I'm in Savannah, Georgia. Do you know somebody that can uh, haul a fifth wheel for me? Well, no, I, I know people here in Chattanooga, Tennessee area, but that's six hours away. I tell them, uh, I tell them, I tell them the same thing. Call your local campgrounds, call your local RV dealers between those two. They know somebody that will, uh, move it for you and just for a little bit of cash or you can hire i'll go to uship.com or there, there's other websites you can add, list it but a lot of times you can just give flip somebody a couple hundred dollars and they'll take it you know a few miles up the road wherever you got to take it but we charge a dollar fifty a loaded mile one way and that's only if you buy one from us and you need it delivered that's what it costs us in fact on one like this is probably going to lose money delivering it for a dollar fifty a mile with diesel prices uh but we'll still do it for a dollar fifty and that's one way we do not charge for the return trip so if it's 500 miles it's you're not going to pay um if it's 500 miles you're not going to pay for a thousand miles because it's a thousand mile round trip you're going to pay for 500 750 versus 1500 uh which is half price what other dealers charge and we always charge again one way Thank y'all so much for watching. I just wanted to get one more on today. This was a nice one. I'll try to get a motorhome on tomorrow. Uh, I've got a few motorhomes out here that I could shoot, but the furniture's out of it, getting the furniture recovered or waiting on new furniture to come in. So um, as soon as we get some of that in, I will definitely shoot some videos. But thank y'all so much for watching. Again, smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment, share on social media. Feel free to uh, give us a call anytime. Call before we come in to look at 706-965-7929. And uh, you probably, if you're coming a long distance and you're pretty sure this is the one for you, you may want to leave a deposit on it. Because real, realistically, that's the only way we can guarantee it'll still be here by the time you get here. And... Uh, Oh, by the way, I'm six foot four. I can walk front to back in this fifth wheel. There's no issues there. Now, if you're seven foot tall, yeah, you may have to duck down in the front, but not many people are that tall. I've met a few, though, but not many. Um, man. Comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Come check it out for yourself, guys. Parkway RV Center, 5568 Battlefield Parkway in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Uh, again, we take trade-ins. We have financing available with approved credit down payment. We have delivery for $1.50 a loaded mile. 649 while it lasts. Thank you again for watching. Hit that subscribe button. If you don't care, smash me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share on social media. Uh, if you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page, RVs with Big Bo. Thank you again, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.